Hello, now it's getting towards that time of year, Christmas is just around the corner. Now each year I make a video about making some handmade gifts. This year I'm going to make some based on games. Now my family are big into playing cards at Christmas, so I've got a couple of packs. And my plan is to make a box for them. I've got this bit of oak and it should be about the right thickness already for the size of the box. This bit of wood has one straight edge on it, so I can get it on the table saw and rip a couple of strips off to make the sides of the box. So I think I said I was gonna rip two strips, but actually one is gonna be big enough to do all four sides for this. So now I need to cut it to some mitres. I'm gonna cut the mitres on the table saw using this little trend digital level box that just snaps on magnetically and then I can tilt the blade over to 45 degrees. I'm going to use the mitre gauge to cut the first 45 degree angle. With that done I can then use the cards to mark out where the next one needs to go and keep cutting all four sides. Right, I've got four sides cut, but before gluing them together, I'm going to give them all a sand down. I can now get some PVA wood glue, put onto the joints and spread out, and this thing put together. Now to hold it together, I'm going to use some of these Collins clamps. I love these, and there's a link to them down below on the Tools I Use page. Then I've just got to leave it to dry. So I now need to make a top and a bottom for this, and the leftover bit of wood is pretty much exactly the right size. It might just be a little too thick though. But now I've got this nice big bandsaw, I should be able to rip a nice thin bit from it. This is definitely gonna be the biggest rip I've tried to make on this saw. So as I say, that's the biggest bit of wood I've resawed on that bandsaw, and I'm so impressed to be able to resaw something that thick so quickly and so accurately. I'm very pleased. Uh, it's a pretty clean cut, but I can give it all a sand down before installing it. I gave this all a couple of hours to dry. Now I can get the clamps removed. So I need to cut this panel to go for the top and the bottom. So I'm going to use the box to set up the stop on the mitre gauge, then I can get a couple of bits cut. So now I can get the top and bottom glued on. So I'm just going to run a bead around, get it spread out, and then they can go into place and clamp it on. I left this all overnight to dry, and now it's a horrible, cold, wet day. So I can get all these clamps off, but I've left the sides on all four sides long on purpose. They need trimming down. Now for the long sides, I'm gonna use the block plane, and for the shorter sides, the end grain, I'm gonna use the sander. Sanded down, but I fancy adding a round over to the top and the bottom, so I'm going to get my little 12 volt Bosch router out and add one. It's all rounded over. I hope you can hear me okay. It's really starting to dip it down out there now. Now I need to cut this box open. So I'm gonna work out where I want the cut to go, 
get that marked out and I'm going to use the bandsaw to cut this open. Now I've got quite a thin blade in here which is not the best for this but it's got a nice thin curve which is what I want. So we'll give it a go. The cards fit in the box now, but I think it'd be nice to have a little divider between them. So I have a little strip left over from making the box, so I'm just going to get that cut down to size on the table saw. I'm now just going to get some PVA wood glue put on this and it put into place between the cards get a clamp on and leave it a dry. The glue's dried on this, so now I can get the clamps taken off and get some finish applied. And what I'm going to go for is some tongue oil, so I'm just going to get that brushed on and leave it to dry. The finish is now dry in the box, so now I need to get the two halves attached together. So first I'm going to get them clamped together and I need to fit some hardware. So to attach them together I've got my selection of bronze hardware. So I'm going to dig out some hinges, get them installed and then a little latch to keep the whole thing closed. Using a combination square to get the inserted as much as I want, then I can mark the holes with an awl and get some screws put in. So that's it all done. Nice little handmade gift ready for some card games over Christmas with the family. Great little gift for any card lover or just as a family present. Now my plan was to make a second item, something a bit simpler for the younger children in the family to play. But this video is already running a bit long so I think I'm going to save that for next time. So tune in in a couple of days time and we'll make that gift. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos. Mm -hmm.